Hi friends, and welcome to the Boston Children's Museum collection. My name is Gabriella, and today I'm gonna take you inside, behind the scenes, and we're gonna learn what does it mean to have a collection. Come on in. Did you catch all of that? It's okay if you didn't, because you just saw thousands of objects. And we're still counting them today. We have so many things because we've been collecting for over 100 years. That's a long time. Do you know what it means to collect? A collection is when you bring two or more of the same thing together. At the Boston Children's Museum, we collect shoes, dolls, shells, jewelry. We collect big things and we collect small things. We have stuff from all over the world. We have things from 20 years ago, from 50 years ago, all the way back when we started over a hundred years ago. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder what I should show you first. Quack, quack, quack. Do you have an idea? Quack, 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 quack. That's great, let's go. No. Oh my goodness, you guys are right. I need to put gloves on. Let me see. Oh, I found one. Does anybody know why we put gloves on? Gloves protect the object and us. On our hands, we have oils and germs, and we're dirty, even if we just wash them. We need to put gloves on so that we make sure that the oils and the dirt don't get on the object because we can't really clean them. We need to keep them safe. That's why they're here in our collection. Another reason we put gloves on is because some of this stuff is really old and what they use to make it, the chemicals, are not safe for our bodies. So gloves help us keep us safe and the object safe. Now I can grab it. Here it is. Let's take a closer look. What, what in the world is this? Do you know? I'm gonna need your help to figure it out. Come on, art detectives. Let's use our super sleuthing skills. Let's take a minute and just look at this object. What's standing out to you? What could this be? Is this something familiar to you or something totally new and different? What are you noticing? Do you see the texture, the size? Do you see the color? Do you notice what it's made out of? Do you notice the shape? So, what did you discover? The first thing I noticed was the number. Did you notice this number too? I wonder how we can learn more about it. Hey Gabby. Check the card catalog. Spider-Man, that's such a great idea. Let's go check the card catalog. When collecting, you need some way to keep track of all your items. In our collection, every object has a number. It's called an object ID. It has two letters that tell us where in the world it came from, and then some numbers. We also write a card about each number. Now that we've found the object ID and matched it to the card catalog, let's learn more. Hmm. We see this object is a hook. It's used for fishing. We think it comes from Mexico. 
They used wood, metal, and paper to make it. And the technique used to make it is it was carved and then wrapped in the paper. Let's look on the back. See this number here, A-7? This number is an accession number. It's connected to the person who gave it to the museum. Let's see if we can learn more about this object using the accession number. Here she is, come on close. After searching this number in our database, we found out that this object was given by Delia Griffin. She was the first curator of the museum in 1913. When she came, she brought this object with her to add to our collection. Look how much we found out about this object. We know it's from Delia Griffin. We know she gave it to us in 1913. It's a fishing hook. And it's made out of wood and paper. We learned so much today. Thank you, friends, for visiting the Boston Children's Museum collection. I hope I get to see you soon. Bye. Have you ever collected anything? Pencils? Magnifying glasses? Let me know in the comments.